Hello people, this is Christian, welcome back to Computer and Fusion for 60 and this part here that is a Facebook question on how to, oh there's not really, a couple of questions on this part, uh, it has some interesting features, I'm doing this like a basic video, this might be slightly more than a basic thing, but it has some interesting things, so this uh, angled hexagon post, these pipes running around, some holes, counter bore holes and stuff, so why not make it with movies for now? Uh, as you can see, I've already made a save here. The first thing I'm going to do before I do anything, I'm going to create a new component and call it post like that. Open it up in the browser. Yeah, you don't need to create a component if you don't want to do it. I like to create it because it keeps things contained inside the component. If you need to move, you move a component, sketches and everything follows along. That's why we create components, and that's another discussion. Let's have a look at the drawing first of all. Yeah, it's an exercise drawing. You can see that because the dimensions are like placed in some sometimes strange places, like always. There's a lot of duplication of dimensions 22.5, 22.5. This dimension here, 70.5, is not necessary. If we look at the geometry of this arc, uh, half circle, arc shape here, what are there more? Uh, yeah, the 7.5 from the edge here, if this is 7.5 from the edge, that's, main, that's 15, so the dimension from center to center here is 65, that's a bit of duplication, but I'm mostly looking at that because I want to know which dimensions I do not need to look at, or which dimensions I need to use, that's number one, or the first things I'm looking at, and also from which dimension do I get the most information. And basically, this is not good, this is not good, this is semi-good. This is really good in combination with this one. This is also quite good, but it basically only gives me dimension of the bottom plate and its hole. So, yes, we can start by sketching this, but I think I will use this here. It gives me more information, it gives me the bottom plane, not the holes. I'm going to make the hole feature. And it gives me this post here, the angle of it and the length and so far. And if you can see, if you zoom in, somebody's typing with typing on the pen on the exercise. No, 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 you do not type your exercises. Or, sorry, yeah, of course you do. I like to sketch on all the things I have. Uh, it says 55 here, that's the angle from up here, and some calculation. And this is a 90 degree angle, that means this here is 35 degrees. So this is on a 35 degree angle plane, if you're looking from the top. We will not use this. This, this, this time we'll of course use 55. If you've seen some other basic videos of me, I try to use the dimensions given in the drawing. That means if you change numbers in the drawing, you simply change the number in the sketch or feature. And you don't need to do calculations. If you need to do calculations, do them in a parameter and drive them with the number from the drawing. But just how I like to look at things. Because it's really annoying to go back to something and wonder where did I get this 35 degree from? I can't find 35 degrees. Oh, oh it was 55, 90 minus 50. Okay, that's 35. Yeah, yeah. But that's not my way of working. Anyway, let's get over to Fusion. Move Fusion to the side and bring up the drawing so we can see both things. Uh, we're going to start this front view. So we're going to start a sketch from here. I might make mistakes in this, so enjoy that. I'm going to start with a rectangle. I'm going to do a line. I do not do two rectangles, because if I first do one rectangle, then a second rectangle, I will have two sketch lines on top of each other. By doing an outer rectangle and a line, everything is single lines. Dimension, you can hit D of a keyboard. This here is going to be 30. Uh, this here was 70, so we have 70 and 30, and the thickness of this, or high if you want to call it, is 15. Zoom out a bit. So we have those basic dimensions, that's the dimension of our bottom plate. And we do another line, now construction line. This is going to help us place this post. So the post starts somewhere here, goes up like that, and have a flat face like that. You see a searching for the perpendicular constraint up here, so I can use that. So then you add it, because of course this face here is perpendicular to the side of the hexagon. We're going to do some dimensions once again. This here starts 35 millimeters from the edge in, and the angle was over here. This is going to be 55 degrees. 
can up and up so the sketch is not still not fully defined and then we have a slightly strange uh, B section here that so shows you the front of a hexagon and it's here and it gives us that the, from side to side the hexagon is 25 millimeter and the direction of this is a bit confusing but side to side is 25 have a look, a look at this we can see a flat side here which means this is a side so this here uh, we'll pull it out and it goes in bad orientation right click select a lined dimension that's going to be 25 and we still do not have a fully defined sketch because we are missing the length of this post that was where it was oops sorry i was going to delete the input dimension and hit uh, 60. but doing that we have a fully defined sketch we are good we're going to extrude start with this as because i made the sketch now i'd like to make all the necessary uh, features immediately after the sketch sometimes i move forward but in this case to keep things uh, easy to read i'm going to do this it's going to be symmetric just give me the whole and that one was 80. e on the keyboard that's the shortcut for extrude this face symmetric the whole length and that was 50. As you can see, my sketch stays visible. I can open it because I've changed my preferences. Normally, your sketches will auto hide, and you need to turn on and off their visibility with the eye. Um, that said, let's do the holes. Hole, top face here. You can see the dimensions is only correct here because I've only been playing around with this uh, thing here. Uh, so, but let's look. This uh, it's a counter bar. Going to change distance to all so i know it cuts through everything uh the counter bar diameter is 12.24 it was 3.58 deep and it's 5.5 you can forget we can do 3.5 instead removes one dimension uh the domain diameter of the hole is 5.5 so that is correct now we need to place it is typically 10 uh, but to my knowledge you don't new use tip in modern drawing but it was used here so that's going to be 10 so I select, select the other edge and type in 10 like that and I hit OK. Wait for Fusion to think and it places a nice hole. We could do a second hole, it's going to be somewhere over here. Try to place it reasonably close to where I want it. 12.24, uh, 3.58, 5.5, everything is correct. Select this edge, it was 10. Select uh, this edge and it was 10 and enter to make it so we have made two of those uh, s on the keyboard to search for commands we can't find them type in mirror because we look for a mirror command feature yes please these two holes this is the reason why i did a symmetric extrude i have made the model symmetric around this here so i can now use this plane I'm using compute option optimized. That means it will pattern the faces. Sometimes you need to change that if it doesn't work. Adjust means it reduce is redoing. We don't need to reduce redoing all the features. So optimized in this case works. So hit OK, and we have our four holes. Thank you. Turn on this sketch. Uh, so I've done basically I've done a fillets. That's a bit of a taste. You can do the fillets and not interfere. Yes, they interfere slightly because I'm going to do dimension down here. So do I want to put the fillets in right now? No, I don't want to. I want to do them later. Uh, this is like you have to think what orders of operation you like to do things in. So I could construct plane at an angle up here, like that, and I'm going to create a sketch on this here. And he's gonna hit P for project. I'm gonna turn around a bit so I can see things better. I want this line here. Now we'll hide the body and hide the earlier sketch and select this line and turn it into construction geometry so it doesn't interfere with my profiles. Create the polygon. We're gonna make our little hexagon. Any size, just some distance away from this uh, line we have so that we can add constraints. Midpoint of this to here. Oh, sorry, control set. I mistakenly hit the line. I don't want that, so I'm going to do midpoint of this to this point here, this to this point here. And by doing that, I have a fully defined sketch. I can finish now. I can open up my earlier sketch and do like nice things. I can right click, say check show dimensions. So, why did I do it like this? Well, 
if I want to change the angle here, it was supposed to be 60 degrees. The sketch will follow along. The plane moves along because it's connected to this line. I can also make this like uh, 30 and it follows along. I'm going to control Z and undo those two things. That is how I make the model parametrics that follows along if I need to change anything. Extrude this here, distance to object down here. Uh, it makes a join. Yes, that's correct. I want the bodies to join, so I hit OK. I'm going to hide the sketch for now so I can have a look. Yeah, that looks really good. So, uh, now let's see. I'm waiting the chamfers and fillers because the good thing about that I have the edges useful for dimension and stuff. Uh, let's do this little interesting R3 revolve here. Uh, that is a circle revolved around that makes this little connection, the click part here, mostly some ball locking joint thing or other hooks that locks into that. And it's slightly strangely drawn here with R3 on a flat side. If we make a half a circle here and revolve, it would cut through the edges and make like cavities inside the edges. We don't want that. We want this to be uh, uh, cutting nicely through the edge out here. There are some different ways to do this. I did slightly in the earlier model I'll show you, but I will now make it like this instead. I will construct a plane. I will lose two edges. I would use this edge and this edge here. Hit OK. That means I can now uh, sketch on the edge here. So I'm going to create a sketch on this plane here. Now, it's a bit hard to see things sometimes. Things might get in the way. Simply type the slice over here and it now slice the model for you. But I will turn off that again because I need to project two things. I want to project really one thing. I want to project this edge here, like that. Uh, I can now hide the body or slice the body, whatever you want. I want to show that function. Uh, this line here I want to turn into construction. It's only for it to help me. I will do a circle here and I'll do right click. Now I can't do that, so I'm just going to type it about that. Hit D. I'm sorry, I made a wrong mistake. D for dimension, then type and right click. And now I can change it to radius because that's given like a three millimeter radius. Somehow I'm trying to pick up, this is of course a diameter of six. Yes, you can do that, but I like to use the dimensions given in uh, the drawing. If you want to change this, highlight, right click and change diameter. And you can now change it back and forth. It will stay the same size. And it's given that it's supposed to be 20 millimeter. I, I'm, I told, I'm seeing this arrow going all the way up to the top here. That's why I didn't start doing chamfers, but it could confuse me. So I'm going to dimension from here to here. Can you dimension, please? Down to... Uh, there, you there you are. That's going to be 20. So I'm going to turn on my body and have a look. We have made this now on the edge. And we need an axis to revolve around. Yes, we need an axis. So I'm going to go back to this here. I'm going to hide this. I'm going to turn on my sketch. And sketch. That's give me the possibility to project in this center point here. I need a center line to revolve things around. So I'm going to do a line here. Straight down. I went back and edited a sketch. I'm going to simply make... I want fully defined sketches. So I'm going to tell Fusion this is going to be equal. That gives me a fully defined sketch. I'm going to keep that as a line like that. You can turn it into a center line if you want to do that. It's still a real line. Doesn't matter, still fully defined. Because I need these to revolve around. There are no round things to use as an axis for revolve. So, S on the keyboard, do you uh, revolve? You can type revolve, the blue one. We don't need to do solid revolve. This profile around this axis creates a little toroid. toroid. Uh, let's turn on the body and it automatically understands it wants to cut it. So now you can see why I made it on the edge. You can see it cuts deep on the edge and a bit slower, not that deep cut on the flat sides. If we do the other way around, it would cut inside the edge here. So that's a bit strange way of doing the drawing. Oh, I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hide my sketches for now and have a look. Yeah, well, look good. I still have one body, so I haven't messed up too much. Let's now start doing the pipes. Uh, there are some different ways to do pipes like this. I'm going to do an offset plane. 
of this plane here. And how far in was it? It was minus 7.5. Yes, we could do. Uh, we uh, suppose that as a mid plane between these two, but it's given like a dimension from this. I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to create a sketch on this here. I will project in these two edges. Can project in the face too, maybe, but I will just do those two edges for me like that. I'm going to hide the body. Hide the body. Hide the body. Thank you. Sometimes I hit the wrong things. Line. Construction lines. This is just for helping me do this. Uh, hit escape. We're going to do this arcy thing here. We're going to do an arc. Let's do a three point arc. Somewhere here. I've suspect uh, 7.5 is the middle of 15. But anyway, I will you do it using the dimensions. So I'm going to do an arc. Something like this. And for uh, this going to be a half circle. There's a different ways you can do that. I'm simply going to use horizontal constraints between uh, all the points. That makes it a half circle orientated in this direction. You could make another construction line to help you wherever you wanted. And I will dimension this point. This point to... Uh, sorry, this point. And that was 7.5. Yes, it's the same as the midpoint. You could constrain it to the midpoint, but if you need to go back and change this dimension, you're locked down to a midpoint constraint. You need to delete that constraint, add another coincident constraint, and then, yeah, it can get confusing. Uh, let's see. We have this 22.5 dimension. That is from the center of this pipe down to the top face. So that should be from here to here. No, no, not that one. Sorry, dimension, let's pick this point first, and then this, this here is 22.5, like that. We're going to have a line here, so I'm going to move the dimension over to this side. Uh, sorry, this is, of course, is not supposed to be a construction line, my mistake. Uh, we're going to do a line, just stop being construction lines, uh, straight out like that, and that was 20, with 20 is from that dimension there. So, I have now made... The most thing I can do, we can now turn on 3D sketching and make uh, a second pipe part here. But I would do slightly different. I would do an offset plane from this plane here. Distance to object and pick up this point here. Create a sketch on the new plane here. And I will project in only the point here. You can project in the line, we can get a bit confusing for fusion later. Do, 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 do. We're going to do an arc. Yes, an arc. Arc. Uh, it's going to be a quarter. I will only do half the pipe and then mirror it, of course, because I'm lazy. So we're going to do like this. Uh, there are no good constraints here. So I'm going to do, once again, horizontal. We know that this point needs to horizontal vertical, and this is horizontal vertical. That gives uh, us a quarter of a circle. The second thing, we have a region point over here, so we can simply make these two horizontal vertical. That gives us a quarter circle ending up in the middle, a line, turn on the body. You can see where it ends up. I'm using the bare minimum of dimensions. Going to finish sketch, turn on our body. Going to S and use a pipe command. And let's do this. I like to start, and then I like to add the dimension of the pipe. That was seven millimeters and of course it doesn't pick up all of it so I need this line too so that line also I'm gonna do a join so I keep everything as one single body I'm gonna hit OK I'll make like half of the pipe once again S on the keyboard mirror mirror feature yes the pipe feature you can select the face up here but I like to use the region planes like this so I keep things uh, controlled still optimize should work Yes, we only need to pattern the faces. And with that, we are starting to get on the last part. Um, I say the fillet and chamfer for last, so let's do both. So we're going to start with the chamfer. This face, I select the full face because that will pick up all the edges. And that was two millimeters. That's from up here. And where were the fillet said R2 typically once again. So we're going to hit F on the keyboard to start the fillet command, normal fillet. And uh, let's select the edges. Yes, I could select half of edges and then mirror, but yeah, it's not that 
many of them just make sure you don't select uh, faces you can change the selection filter up in select so that you only select edges and things like that so you avoid this highlighting the faces that's a bit of mostly convenience and i'm not convenient i'm only a hobbyist user so i do everything the hard way i have selected all the edges i'm looking for i think here it's only them there are no fillets on these poster stuff so and that's gonna be two millimeter fillet hit ok let's have a look here we have fillets all the way around it's good we can do some inspections we can inspect uh, these two sides here that is 25 millimeters correct for my drawing we can do a check from not that face this here should be 80 still that's still 80 that's good so this should be everything that's in the drawing and of course we can now open up this so, so in my oh no this needed to be 80 long now we can change things so this should update the problem is of course it didn't follow a face up here for some reason i need to think why I didn't do that why didn't you update that how did i set up that do i want that to follow that or did it break the sketch that was interesting so sometimes you have to have a look at things if they're not behaving like you want to do 30 works i can make it larger how did i set up my hexagon next to the revolve area what did i project in did i project in something bad let's have a look this is a good thing about sometimes playing around this this is just me playing now so if you want to do a model you only see if i do that to 80 and i go back and edit this sketch what's the problem here oh it's got connected to the region points so we're going to edit that sketch hide that hide the body and we're going to remove this dimension here and i'm going to dimension it once again from here oops sorry i'm going to dimension this point to here can you pick up a circle like that that's supposed to be 20. i'm going to finish sketch let's see what happens now it moves along so we're going to turn on this sketch again you need to sometimes go back and have a look at your models so now we can change it to anything we want yes we can we can of course also change the angle we can hide the body so we can move that dimension out that is supposed to be 60. will it update the model or oh, crash it worked kick back to 55. so this is how I would make this exercise and also do some playing around with it. Should be able to change this to 32. Can we do it? Yes, it works. Sometimes you have to go back and check if your model got totally parametric or you happen to pick up the wrong things in the sketch. But anyway, uh, I hope there are some interesting tips for you to learn or play around with. So the drawings once again here with one, uh, sorry. Uh like that if you want to copy your sketch and do it or a drawing and do it yourself with that said i hope you're having a good weekend i hope to see you around goodbye take care